The wrist or carpal bones are eight in number. The carpals are arranged in two irregular rows of four bones each. The carpal bones of the proximal row starting at the lateral thumb side are scaphoid which is a boat shaped bone followed by lunate it is a latin name for moon like. The next bone is the triquetrum which is a triangle shaped small pyramid like bone. Lastly the medial most is the pisiform bone which is the Latin name for pea-like. Unlike the other carpal bones, the pisiform is a sesamoid bone. That is, it is not present at birth but develops around the age of 9 to 12 years within the tendon of the flexor carpi ulnaris muscle. Only the scaphoid and lunate bones articulate with the radius to form the wrist joint. Coming to the distal row of carpal bones, the first lateral most bone is the trapezium which is the Latin name for little table. The next bone is a wedge shaped trapezoid bone which is the smallest distal carpal bone. It is followed by capitate which is the Latin name for head shaped. It is the largest carpal bone. And the medial most bone is the hamate bone which is a hook shaped bone. To help remember the names and positions of the carpal bones, a simple mnemonic may be used. She looks too pretty, try to catch her. Interesting, huh? The first letter of each word is the first letter of the bone, proceeding lateral to medial. The first four are proximal and the last four are distal. From clinical point of view, the scaphoid is the most frequently fractured carpal bone which often results from falling on an outstretched hand. The fracture usually occurs perpendicular to the long axis of the bone. Because the blood supply to the proximal portion of the scaphoid decreases with age, a fracture to this segment of the bone usually heals poorly and often results in necrosis of the proximal segment. This results in avascular necrosis. I said I'd be there.